Hi everyone, welcome to VCDial Step by Step Training Part 3. This video tutorial covers going from a base VCDial setup to agents dialing outbound on a live campaign. We will learn how to create a campaign with basic setup, change group access, creating a new user, and finally log into agents panel and dialing out. If this is the first video you are watching, please check the video description for previous tutorials on how to install VCDial, how to register an extension, and create a trunk. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you find this series of videos useful. Let's get started. As step 1. Create a campaign. In this step, we will create a basic campaign. In order to create a campaign, log in as admin and select campaigns. Add a new campaign. We can give it a ID. I'm giving the idea demo campaign name, demo campaign, campaign description. I'm using the same user group. We will assign to demo user group that we have created. Campaign should be active. We don't need to set uh, park music on hold, web form, or we don't need to change allo closer. We want to set up a very basic campaign just to dialing out. And for now, let's set the campaign for 24 hours. And submit. Campaign demo is added and you have redirected to the detailed view of that campaign. You will find multiple options here that you can use to customize your campaign. For now, we are changing just two options. You can search for allow no hopper option and you need to set this to yes and also no hopper dialing to yes. This will allow us to log into the campaign although we have not load any leads into the campaign. We will learn how to load leads and do a preview dialing in the next video. So change these two options and submit. And step two, group access to the campaign. In this step, we need to give our user group access to the new campaign that we have just created. So select user group, select the demo user group that we have created, and in the campaigns, select demo and submit. Step 3, add a new user. In order to add a new user, select users, add a new user, give it a number or a name, it can be a name as well. I prefer to be a number, for example, 5001, password. I set same as the username, set a complex password, but actually there is an option that you can set that next time that user can log in, they can change the password. So uh, I just set it as username and then I will ask the agents to change their password. Name, let's name it as my name. User level, you can click on the question mark and see what are these user levels for. For example, must be level of 1 to log into the agency screen, must be level greater than 2 to log in as a closer, or level 7 to see the reports. For now, we just, need, we just want to log in and do an outbound call. So user level, you can let it as 1 for now. User group, we set to demo as our user group. Phone login, it's not important for now, but you can set as phone login, the phone that we have created, 1001, 1001, and submit, or you can let it blank. So as you can see, user is added. We have multiple options to choose and change here for the user permission, but what we want to 
change right now is just manual dialing. So we can search for manual agent called manual dial set to one so that our agents are able to call out and submit. A step four that is our final step is to log into the agent panel and call out manually. In order to log in to, to the agents panel, first you need to run your Zoifer. We have learned how to configure and register the extension in the part one. So if you don't know how to register or how to create the extension, please refer to that video. So we are running our Zoifer and as you can see, it's registered. So we need to select agent login. The first step is to put the phone login. Our phone extension was 1001 and the password we set as the same. Our user login is the user that we have created. So my user was 5001 and password was the same. Here we select a campaign, our demo campaign and submit. Our Zoiper will ring. You need to answer. Currently the only person in this conference. And let it be answered. So don't hang up the Zoiper. Now our system is ready. This is the agent panel of VCDial. In order to do a manual call, you need to select on the manual dial, put the number that you want to call, and of course, remove the dial code. By default, it's one for the US. Of course, we can remove that in the uh, detail view of the campaign that we will learn later, but you can put the number here. and dial. So the system is calling the number. And we can answer. As we are answering and hanging up, you can see the status are changing here. After you have talked to the customer, you, can, you need to hang up the customer and set a disposition. This disposition is for reporting purpose. For example, what was the result of the call? For example, it was no answer or it was a sale call. I select as a sale made. And we are going back to the first agent screen and we are ready to do the next call.